Perverted, disgusting, narcissistic zoophiles. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to James Espy. I can't believe that I never reacted to James Espy. James Espy is a so-called vegan activist, a YouTuber, Instagrammer, and of course, like most vegans nowadays, he runs his own OnlyFans as well. For me personally, it is quite shocking to see the guy in such a state, because back in the day when I was a vegan, he was big in the vegan community, and he was a fit, healthy role model for the vegans. Now we can see how deteriorated the poor guy is. Let's have a look. Worry, I'm just on my morning walk. I see this beautiful cow. Like, look at the fucking... Before we look at the cow, let's look at your face, man. Do you see how sunken in you are? Rope through wow. her nose. Look at they don't shit. see it. It's, what the fuck? What the fuck? It's fucking horrible. Yeah, it is horrible, man. Horrible. Like, what kind of life is this? You know, shit. It's very ironic that he talks about the alleged suffering of the cow, not realizing that he is the one suffering. She's wow. Just, she's just here. Yeah. Being moved around forcefully, having this shit through a fucking nose. Can't hang with her fucking mates. <laughs> her mates, and yes. Then. <laughs> One day, all this will be over and she'll get on a fucking truck and wow. she'll get sent to a slaughterhouse where the fuck- I really see a pattern here. Most vegans that I observed over the past few years, they develop this paper-thin skin. Cut her head off. Wow. And I've been to the slaughterhouse that she's going to go to and they don't- they just literally cut her head off. That's how it's done. Yeah, so? Insane. She never had a moment of human love. She's just born as a product. Why would a cow need human love? What are you talking about? Surely even the vegans would agree that animals do not need humans' love. Kill. Just disgraceful. Just sh disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, absolutely disgusting, man. There is a cow literally in cow paradise. Everything around her is edible. She lives 24-7 in an all-you-can-eat buffet with no fear of being eaten by any predator. You're talking about slaughter methods, not taking into consideration that that cow in the wild would be eaten alive by predators or starved to death or freeze to death. Bad humans. We treat these beautiful beings. I'm probably the only being, the only human who has ever looked at her this way. And thought, <laughs> yeah, probably you are, man. <laughs> she deserves better. And that's fucking sad. Super sad. <laughs> Those vegans really are perverts, man. Nobody looked at the cow like I do. How do you want people to look at cows, man? Cows have no need for human looks, human touch. How about all the poor, poor animals that you never laid your gaze upon? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, the video was rather short. Let's continue on his Instagram. What is this? Wow, the narcissism is beyond belief. There he has obligate carnivores. Yes, cats do eat meat. Showing you a casual ab shot with his bulge and the kitty cat right next to it. As I said, vegans are perverts. Perverted, disgusting, narcissistic zoophiles. Alright guys, and this is it for today's video. Just a quick one yet again. Just here observing how veganism treats those people over the years. But well, yet again, just anecdotes. It's not a study. So therefore not valid. If he ever drops out, he probably did it wrong as well. Alright guys, but this is it for today. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.